Hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff here for another contest entry. Figured this would be an interesting one, uh, at least for me. Uh, this is for Simon over at Pie Face. He is doing a uh, giveaway of a bunch of CDs. And he basically wants to see Goats and Blood. Now, if you don't know his channel, you might say, what's Goats and Blood? He shows a lot of extreme metal, death metal, things like that. And so the theme of Goats, Blood, things like that are pretty relevant in those types of releases. And so he figured he'd make it an easy contest type thing for the people that follow him. But he said, if you don't, and not into that kind of music, you probably can still do it. And so that's why I looked at it as a challenge because I'm not as much into that, uh, but I do have some, but nowhere near the amount to draw from that would make this as super easy. So um, when looking for goats, I found that to be the more tough part, whereas the blood was not quite as tough. So first, let's take a look at go through real quick to see uh, the few that I, examples that I could give uh, of that type of thing. The only one that really jumped to mind immediately, and that's because this would fit into that. Um, well, they're not really considered. They would be considered more of an extreme metal of the day and to be more on the satanic side, which is where a lot of the death and black metal tend to gravitate towards, which is why they've got the dark imagery of goats and blood. But that's the uh, the venom venom uh, record store single that came out before so this is your typical satanic goat type symbol that comes out so uh, again that's why it would be easier if you're into that kind of music that's pretty much the only one i've got that's 100 percent relevant to that style the rest of these would be similarly yeah two of them are going to be similar this one i guess similar too demon hunter metalcore band uh in their imagery of course they look at the goat demon idea same type of character here uh upside down they've taken it and put a you know made it a hunted item and they've put a bullet through his head and killed the demon so again it's the idea of the scruffy goaded face horns type thing so that's a goat idea and then of course in the same scary monster demonic fashion um hollowed ground by death dealer is a goat like creature now this one also would qualify because there's blood all over him he's got blood all over his body in different spots so a little bit of goat a little bit of blood more of a monster goat and the same along the line with lizzie board deal with the devil it's supposed to be a demonic air you know people picture the devil with the great giant goat horns and everything like that total uh fiction on the way that he looks but they uh that's the, the general imagery so this is kind of the goat looking scruffiness and horns there so we're leaving the goat aspect and now we're going with blood and there's a lot of different aspects of blood so i've picked a bunch of different ones some that just say the word blood and some that may have a little blood on them i found the majority of them are going to have the word blood love through blood by place of skulls hey a skull and blood anyway this was kind of a cool little 10 entry pull there um, and this is one I think uh, Christian Osario was a Christian that showed this, I believe, Blood of Nations by Accept. Uh, again, it's not only got the word blood in it, but then the hand is covered with blood. So we're looking at ones with blood in the title. This, well, this one's the same. The guy's name is actually Blood Good, Michael Blood Good. And there's blood on the cover. So there you go. The first Blood Good album. And then you got a band, Avenger of Blood, thrash metal, classic thrash metal band. So... Uh, recently reissued uh, version of their album, Avenger of Blood. Blood Sports by Avenger. <laughs> Avenger of Blood. Avenger Blood Sports. Uh, overseas band. Cool stuff from back in the 80s. Exciter. Blood of Tyrants. Again, blood in the name. Exodus Bonded by Blood. And it's even got a little little bit of blood on there it's kind of hard to see but you can see those little drips in there where the babies are connected and then the deliverance logo has got splattered blood behind it so this one's got some blood on the cover there thrash band from the 80s and still around blood of angels by spillage doom metal band this is uh not their most recent album but fairly recent within the past couple years and he's pouring blood uh, on there too so you got a little bit of blood on there and blood in the title Triton, Blood of Kings, and of course there's some blood on the sword. So we got a little bit of blood on both of those aspects. Mortifications, Blood World. And there's blood on there because it's got blood all over the world. So 
that would be a stem for him uh, probably from Revelation where they talk about the blood of the bodies anyway um, just titled blood by Red Sea and uh, the sea is red kind of like blood probably hearkening back to you know the whole uh, Moses and the sea of turning the sea to water to blood and all that stuff all right, and, and ultimatum, heart of metal, and he's got a heart that he's ripping out, and he's got blood on his hand, so there's some blood there. The last one's a little tricky. This is Pride of the Wicked by War of Ages. Nothing about that that's blood, except voila, it's supposed to be blood on the cover, on this album itself. So we got clear with a blood splatter, blood drop is, uh, it's called, clear with blood is what they call it. So that was kind of neat. Blood on the vinyl itself. So there you go. Easy peasy. See what you can do. If you want to jump on this contest, go check it out. I'll have a link below to the Pie Face channel. And you can jump on board and you could win yourself a lot of extreme metal CDs. That, you know, if you're into that. Anyway, I'll see you later. Rock on and rock hard.